è un musical che ha conquistato spettatori in tutto il mondo e da anni è un grande successo di Broadway. Noi siamo andati a New York ad intervistare Judy McLean, protagonista di Mamma Mia! Dear Donna, first of all I want to say one thing. Because we met, yes, 20 years ago, yeah, in a disco party, we danced together and we spent all night together. So now I can say one thing. I'm the real father of Yes, I'm the real father of Sophie. But the question is one. Yes. Would you marry me? Absolutely. <laughs> You're Italian. <laughs> On Broadway, there's one place where the party never stops. Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia deals with a, a young girl who is doesn't have her father here present. Her mom tells her that he kind of went out of the picture. And she's getting married. She's 20 and she's getting married and she wants to find her real father. And she ends up finding her mom's diary. And in that diary, a lot gets revealed, but there happens to be three men that are possible dads for her father in the town. You're the fourth. You're the fourth. <laughs> the Italian one. We have the, uh, you know, the Texan. We've got, now we've got the Italian father. Um, and so I played um, the mother of this young girl who had went through a troubled time myself. We got, got pregnant when she was younger and, and, you know, was a little mischievous. And so the, it takes place trying to find out this daughter bringing her three dads to this place to find out who her real dad is. And it's, it's a wonderful story. It's about a mother-daughter relationship. It's about um, renewing old loves that come back into your life after so long. It's, it's a really lovely story and there's someone in, in Mamma Mia that almost everyone can relate to. What about your role, Donna Sheridan? She's a great character. She's a great, very earthy, strong woman, runs a business on her own, has raised a daughter of 20. Um, I, I love this character, you know, uh, there's a moment at the end, winner takes it all, and this man that she loved for many, many years comes back in the picture, and she, she remains strong throughout this whole whole thing, and says, you know what, I'm not going to let him see me cry. She, she has a lot of strength to her, Donna, which I, which I, I can relate to, you know, I'm, I'm a single person myself, divorced, and so I, I get it, you know, she's a good, she's a good character. I think the magic is the music. No matter, we have such an international audience, people from of every country you can imagine. I go to the stage door to sign autographs afterwards and I always ask people where they're from. And I think because the music is so universal, ABBA has been around for so long, they're, they have sold more, more records than the Beatles, for, for, you know, for instance. So I think it's the music that people really relate to. So no matter if you can follow the story in the language it is, but you, you know the music and you can follow it with the music. So I think that's, and also it's a feel-good thing. Everybody walks out feeling really great. I did Tanya for seven and a half years, which I adore doing. I've, I love my job. But when I start rehearsals, for, when I started rehearsals for Donna, I, it felt like a brand new show to me. I no longer felt as though I was doing the same show, it was a different show, so I didn't feel like I wanted to jump into the other character. I really never did. I mean, I still to this day, I, sometimes I look at the costumes and I think, oh my goodness, I wore those. It, it's, it's very strange, I can't, it's very hard. everyone asks that question of me, and it's hard to describe, but it feels so different from this angle. And the woman playing T Nat Tanya now is so wonderful and brilliant and so different than I was. So that adds to it as well, you know. it's. It feels like a new show. I'm seeing things with a whole different eye. There's times where I was never on stage, and now I'm on stage where I never saw these parts of the show that I've never seen. Ciao, spectacolo, che okay, spectacolo. Come see Mamma Mia on Broadway.